catch a body coming through the rye. Hi guys. Today is a really sad day in the literary world. J.D. Salinger died. I mean, it's not like he was a really public figure. In fact, he spent most of his life hiding from being famous. And given it's not a tragically young death, he did die of natural causes at the age of 91. But he wrote one of the greatest American novels of all time, Catcher in the Rye. This was really his only big novel that ever made it. He wrote a lot of short stories, though. The main character in this book is Holden Caulfield. Something about Holden Caulfield. I love how Holden calls everyone phonies. Like, everyone's a phony, except for him. And... You know, those goddamn people, and Christ's sake, and um, he's quite a foul-mouthed child for the time. My sort of favorite thing that J.D. Salinger does in this book is he captures Holden's loneliness so well, and the fact that he doesn't fit in anywhere, and he feels like he doesn't belong, and he's sort of like guarding himself, like with the clothing he wears, like his um, hunting cap, and everything like that, and just the way he does that, the literary imagery is just like... <sighs> It's really, really fantastic. I just, like, love the first sentence of this book. If you really want to hear about it, the first thing you'll probably want to know is where I was born, and what my lousy childhood was like, and how my parents were occupied, and all before they had me, and all that David Copperfield kind of crap, but I don't feel like going into it if you want to know the truth. I cannot explain why I love this book. You know who can explain why this book is an amazing piece of literature, though? John Green can. Link in the sidebar. He did this thing with the Nerd Fighters where um, we all read Cat Catching the Rye at the same time and he sort of talked and gave a literary analysis of what the book was about. Um, and he did it in a much better way than my 10th grade teacher ever could. So if you really understand and you want to reread this book or read it for the first time, I suggest you read along with these videos with John Green. He explains it amazingly. So check those out in the sidebar. This is definitely a great American novel, even if you don't like it. It has so many hidden metaphors and amazing literary analogies in it. Um, I'll be back in a week or so on this channel to make another video because Maureen Johnson's sequel to Sweet Scarlet comes out. Scarlet Fever, and it comes out Monday. Maureen Johnson is just like oh, my favorite, so I am really looking forward to reading that entire book in one day and then reviewing it for you on Tuesday because that is what I will do because that's what I do when novels come out. By the way, you should read Sweet Scarlet. I know I already did a video about Maureen Johnson's books, but you should read it and then go pick up Scarlet Fever on Monday. It's a really good book. Enjoy it. It's a really good young adult book. So, anyway. Rest in peace, J.D. Salinger, and I'll see you guys all next week. My sort of favorite thing that J.D. Salinger does in this book is he captures Holden's loneliness so well, and the fact that he doesn't fit in anywhere, and he feels like he doesn't belong, and he's sort of, like, guarding himself, like, with the clothing he wears, like his, um, hunting cap, and everything like that, and just the way he does that.